Hi, this is Arna Chalam. Today, let us analyze the stock Polygap India Limited. So, it's a long term pick, and we are just making a group of videos in this series. So, just check out the playlist section to find the best stocks for long term. So, currently, the Polygap India Limited is in our list. So, we can consider going long in the stock for long term, and the stock is also good for short term. Can't expect a good rally for short term right now in this market condition. So, Polygap India is a leading manufacturer of cables and wires and its allied products. And the company is also engaged in manufacturing and sales of fans, switches, switch gear, LED lights, and solar inventors. So, the business is looking great, and the market cap of the company is around 36,000 crores. So, it's actually a fantastic rally from the low of 2020. So, currently, the stock is in IPE, but it's fine, and the company has very low debt so we can consider this as a bullish sign and the company is trusted by the promoter so promoter holding is around 68 percentage so we can consider this as a good sign and the book value is around 371 so there is no need to understand the book value in the in such growth stocks so debt is almost negligible and the company maintains a good dividend yield so it's 0 0.41 percentage it's not that great but it's fine actually the company provides almost 15 to 20 percentage of its net profit as a dividend so we can consider this as a good sign for long term and the price to book value is around 6.5 so it's quite huge so the stock at current market price and adding on every fall is a good strategy so consider coffee can investing in the stock so currently the stock is in a sideways movement look at the chart here so currently we can't expect a fantastic rally in the stock but we can expect a fantastic rally for sure because the company is doing great and the company's financials are very good so we can consider going long in the stock for long term so company has reduced its debt and the company delivered good profit growth of 31 percent CAGR over last five years and it is also maintaining a healthy dividend payout of 17 percentage so it's a healthy payout so look at the sales here so this is the financials of the company the sales was good and and the sales is almost doubled within a matter of two years and the operating profit is also doubled and the net profit is also doubled so we can consider this as a good and positive signs for, for the company so look at the net profit here so the net profit has grown very much that too exponentially so by considering all these aspects we can consider this as a good stock for long term and the company is doing great and the company's sales growth and profit CAGR is very good so we can consider going long in the stock for long term so let's move to the shareholding pattern to understand further so the promoter has decreased almost 0 0.6 percentage of their holding but the public has increased their holding so we can consider this as a good sign but it's not that fair because the DIA has reduced almost 5 percentage in this company so this can be considered as a negative sign for the stock because the promoter has confidence in the company so we can consider this as a positive sign and the stock looks very good for long term and now let's move to the technical chart to understand the price action so uh, the stock was listed around the price range of 607 and it reached the price range of 1000 on 2020 and there was a good fall till the price range of 640 and after that the stock just started moving higher so it's a fantastic rally currently the stock moves in a sideways so this can be considered as a good sign for going long because the stock is making a good IRI formation in the monthly chart so currently the stock is trading at a expensive valuation so beware of valuation before entering the stock so the breakdown of the price range of 2000 can be considered as a good accumulative zone for the stock and one can go long above the price range of 2800 for short term so taking entry above the price range of 2800 can give a fantastic rally for short term but the stock is in a sideways currently so breakout of the price range should happen so add the stock to your watch list and enter the stock if the stock breaks the price range of 2800 so now let's move to the weekly chart to analyze further so this is the weekly chart and let me draw the trend line that govern the stock so this can be considered as a good trend line and currently the stock shows some weakness here so the stock just came out of the main trend so we can consider this as a negative sign so we can consider a good fall in the stock so for short term the stock may reach the price range of 2100 or else the stock may also break the price range of 2100 may fall further so consider this stock for accumulating for long term and the stock has potential to give a fantastic return for long term so one can consider going long in the stock for long term and for short term the stock is not that great 
So breakout of the price range of 2800 can give a short term gains in the stock and the stock is trading at expensive valuation. So beware of valuations before entering the stock for long term. So now let's move to the daily chart to analyze further. So let me draw the trend line once again. So let me clear all this and this can be considered as a good trend line and there's a good breakdown here. So we can consider accumulating the stock around the price range of 2200. So the price range of 2200 to 2100 can be taken as the good accumulation zone and the price range of 2700 can be taken as a good resistance for the stock. So the stock might face a resistance around the price range of 2700 for short term but the stock has potential to move higher. So one can consider going long in the stock for long term. So finally the company is doing great and we can consider this stock for going long. Take entry at current market price and add on every fall till the price range of 2200 or 2100 and one can consider the price range of 2600 as a good resistance. So 2600 to 2700 can act as a good resistance for the stock and breakout of the price range of 2800 can trigger a further rally. So that might not happen in current market condition. So we can consider a good fall till the price range of 2200. So accumulate the stock around the price range of 2200 and consider accumulating the stock on every fall till the price range of 1900. So the stock looks bullish and the stock might not move below the price range of 1900. So accumulating the stock at current market valuations are fine and, and consider accumulating the stock on every fall. So for long term, just use 200 exponential moving average to ride the rally and exit the stock if the stock cuts the 200 exponential moving average. So that's all for today. If you like the video, hit like button, join us on telegram and finally thank you for watching our videos.